Sir? Lieutenant. Just that cloud over there. You don't think it could be? Give me your glass. And it seems I owe you an apology. And may I put my marker down here and now for the first watch that your father makes to go on sale to the public. You know anything right? If you put it on the back seat, I think it'll be good. Rupert! I think you'd better take this as well. H4, thank you very much. I'm sorry if we appeared to act a little hastily. Anyway, I'm very pleased. I feel like Jack and the Beanstalk stealing away the treasure from the giant's castle. What? Nothing. Nice motor car. Not mine, I'm afraid. Borrowed it from a chum in the RAF. I can't afford one. Of course. Are you all right? Thank you so much. Look, if there are any expenses involved, tools or whatever, make a note of them and send them to me, won't you? Thank you so much. you are about to win £20,000. You're going to be a very popular young man, Mr. Harrison. I envy you. Thank you. But I have to get back to London before I can be sure. Mr. Harrison, you are clearly not aware that while you were at sea, war was declared with Spain. Frankly, I'm surprised the Admiralty permitted you to travel to Jamaica at all. They must have known that you were likely to be stranded here. Well, there has to be a ship going back to England. No, I'm afraid not. Besides, it would be too dangerous to travel unescorted. I'm sure you wouldn't wish your watch to be captured by the Spanish. Enjoy yourself. This is a very beautiful island. Where are you going to put it? In the attic. And the job. What? You said you were going to London about a job. Oh, yes, I did. I met Uncle Mac. Uncle Mac? You don't have an Uncle Mac. I do now. He offered me a job on the wireless. You're not going to play records, are you? Not quite. <laughs> Do you speak English? He wants to know which of you is the rich bastard. My dear girl, I'm the rich bastard. Perhaps you would allow me the honor of the next dance. Over there. Who are they? They're from the Merlin. Arrived this afternoon to offload some prisoners and claim their bounty. The ships are hot. Two masts sprung and half the rigging gone. They were on their way to England when they came across a privateer. Lucky bastards. What's the name of the captain? Irish fellow, Burke. William Burke. So that's three officers and 12 men, not including the one who died. Good, good. Gwyneth Diaz, Harrison, we'll take you with us as long as you're ready to leave tomorrow. Tomorrow? We sail on the noon tide. Mr. Sayer! Sir! 
I'll need you finished up there within the hour. I have to take observations to establish the longitude of the island. Can't you wait another day? My orders say I must make sail as soon as I'm seaworthy. So? You better get on with it then. How is it? Almost there. What time did you make it? Well, the watch says... Oh, the watch. I don't need the time back in England. The mail in leaves on the noon tide. How long have I got? About an hour, I should say. I'll do the calculations later. I don't want to be stranded here for four months. Maskell may be on his way back from St. Helena with his lunar results. Come on. Give his hand. William. One of these chaps says he's a fisherman. He's got a boat moored on the beach below. He could take me straight out. It would save time. Are you sure? I don't think you have an option. The Merlin won't wait for you. Well, come on, then. I can see you live dangerously. I like that. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Captain. I can see I'm not the only one. <laughs> Set the upper topsails, Mr. Parker. I got it. Set the upper topsail! Done with your summons, Mr. Harrison. Go up on deck. It's a fine sight. I cannot be certain till we're back in England. But according to my workings, if you take the rate into account, we've lost under a minute since the watch left London ten weeks ago. The uh, rate? Well, we know the watch loses two and a half seconds a day. We call that the going rate. I use that in my calculations for Madeira, taking that into account. It's a possible error in longitude of less than half a degree. Let me be the first to congratulate you. No, thank you. I'm already drunk. All my life, my father's life, has been for this moment. Listen. If the watch stops now, sir, so does my heart. There will be no proof of its achievement. Half a degree. We have won the prize, Captain. We have won the prize! Captain, Spaniard on the larboard side, about to cannon shot away. Every man to his station. Tell the master gunner to report to me on deck. Ah! Loosen your gun! What she's waiting for. Stand the guns by. I can't. design in black. The hour and minute hands are of blued steel and there is a polished center second hand. 